Welcome back guys, we're continuing this Grand Tactician Civil War Confederates Max Difficulty No Infantry campaign and we're just going to be sitting around waiting for the enemy to attack us because if we attack them we're likely going to end the campaign so we're just going to have to sit around waiting for them to make the move Interesting. They've actually taken this depot. So let's move back over to this depot. It'll probably take it automatically when they move out, but let's move just to make sure. Curious to see what the cash flow situation is. So let's watch the cash. So yeah, looks like we are losing money over time rather than gaining it. So we've got 173 in subsidies, 272 in buildings, and we're only making 83 million off tariffs. 72 million off sales. Hmm. It seems like the more buildings you build, the more it costs you, rather than the more money you save. So it makes it, it makes it seem like Hmm. I don't, I don't get that. Because I've been using subsidies, this is saying just for the construction. But it shouldn't cost anything for the construction, because I've been using subsidies. I don't get it. I don't get it. So, let's see, while these expenses are rising, what it is that is actually rising. Right, it's the army upkeep, so obviously as men are getting replaced, but I just saw the buildings go up as well. So while I'm getting men that are being replaced, the army upkeep's going up, which obviously makes perfect sense. But I'm just wondering if any of the other things are making it go up. I'm still doing this. Well, I don't want the cost... Oh, the cost of supplies minus 20. So, that would actually be... Pretty damn useful. I think, anyway, I, I don't know. We'll come back to that anyway once we've uh, finished this. So, let's watch these finances, see if anything else goes up apart from the army upkeep. Interesting. The building's cost is actually going down. Recruitment's going up.
national debt, so... Hmm... Yeah, I'm not not 100% sure whether building buildings is actually worth it or not. Obviously it's important in terms of supplying your army, but it doesn't seem to help with cash flow. Interesting. Anyway, we've been attacked. What have we got? One brigade, 42 men, so one of the cannon divisions. 50, 53, so about 53,000 to 29, 31. So 53 to 31, what are we looking in terms of guns? We've got pretty much double. So same deal as before, we're just going to see if we can... Snipe them. Right, based off that description of the scouts, they just move in front of where the cavalry are moving. So you, they don't act alone like skirmishers do. Maybe I should try that out a little bit more. Okay, we're back down here again. It's getting a little bit boring playing the same map. But that's where the depot is, so... Mm. Need to do it on here. Right. That's pretty much how we're going to set up. Alright, let's just wait to see where they come. I think after this battle, I might move. I might raise the uh, the depot and move on to a, a different area.
might move some of these cannons. I don't know if they can shoot through. So let's move this cavalry division. I'm still concerned about them coming down this road, so I think I'll leave them where they are. That's a lot of troops. A lot of cannons as well. I'm going to turn everybody onto counter battery interesting it looks like they might want to try and come down here maybe Maybe not. It's definitely odd behaviour moving down here and then coming across. Let's see what the rest of them do. Yeah, I think I'm going to need to bring these over. That's a shame, we've lost. At least it's uh, one of these HQs of Division Commander. The Division Commanders don't actually level up the experience, so losing them is not a big deal at all.
sure why he's not moving. Come on, mate. Thank you. What's going on here? Okay. We suddenly just lost a load of uh, cannon.
that's all she wrote for that one. We lost a lot of uh, canon in this. And we obviously lost the division commander. So it'll be interesting to see if these are completely wiped out. Be quite sad if they are, because obviously we had veteran C. But it's not going to make too much difference in the long run. Well, not bad at all. Right then, so if you demolish or abandon one of these, parts of the stored goods are sold or utilised. Right, so let's have a look. We're on minus 704. So let's abandon this. Seven oh four still. So we didn't actually get any cash from it, I don't think. Let's just press play for a minute. Yeah, I can't see. Whoa, that's just gone up by seventy. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to which thing went up, but yeah, that's crazy. I don't understand that. I'm not sure what's just caused that 70 million increase. It might have something to do. Mm. You know what, I have no idea. I don't even want to speculate. Right, who was it that got killed? Um, it's a central army, wasn't it? So apparently we didn't lose the division, or the brigade I should say. I think it was this one. I don't recognise Cleburne. Oh, there it is. Yep. It's a shame he died, but not much we can do about it. So we're going to need to replace him. I don't I don't know who to replace him with, because we won't have any... ...artillery commanders. Uh, leadership... I really don't know what... what the best thing is for each type of unit. Cunning seems pointless for the uh, the artillery. But I don't know. I think ad administration's probably the 
best thing for an artillery officer. So him there with the administration, let's assign him. Okay. taking a hammer in. And so is he. So we really need these up and running, which is 16 days, 27 days, 47 days. But what we're going to do is abandon this position. Come down to this depot here instead. Let's use the river. Why is that not using the river? Hmm. Not sure. But let's have a look anyway. Not much. Not much. Let's come down there anyway. Right, let's have a look at projects. Railroad, very close. 0.8 of a million. Credit rating, 0.9 of a million. Trade deals is miles off. Yeah, I don't know whether it's worth getting these because it just seems to cost loads of money. It's one of our most, well, it is our most expensive expense. <laughs> most costly expense. So, 262. Let's build one and see what happens. 262. So it hasn't risen yet. So let's see if it rises. Yeah, it's it's rising. Hmm, well, it just seems that every time we build a building, it costs money even though we're using subsidies. So I don't really know how to fix this debt problem. Brickworks seem to give quite a lot. Let's have a look. Can we sort by efficiency? So the lumber is giving 5.6 million in profits 
supposedly. The salt works is giving 90k, so the salt works is pointless. Then again, this lumber's not giving much, so I don't know why this one's so so damn high compared to the others. The brickworks is only 309. Hmm. It's really difficult to tell what on earth is worth buying. I don't think any of them really. The salt works definitely don't seem worth it. Interesting, the ports, well, not all of them. But some of the ports have got huge losses. Wonder if that's because that's where I'm importing. And it's counting as a loss to the port itself. Everything is just losing money. Plantation's doing well. God, it's so difficult to know what is worth it. What? Minus 1.7 million in profits. <laughs> oh my goodness, minus 1.4 million. I don't get it. Yeah, I don't know what... Jesus Christ. I don't know what the best thing to do to actually increase your cash. What? Minus 4.1 and it's worth 8.2. And it's only got one efficiency. I, don't, I just don't get it. Wish there was a way to see. Hmm, let's have a look on here. It's not supply that we're after. Transport bottlenecks, that's what I was after. I, n I have no idea how to actually fix this, if I'm completely honest. <laughs> Building a market, I think, but I don't know whether it's actually worth cash. No idea at all. Yep, no idea. So, let's forget about that. So instead, let's go into... What was the thing we were... Ah, that's it. Industry we were just using to build things, weren't we? So, subsidise industry. 
increases productivity. Infrastructure increases transport capacity. Neither of them seem to increase cash. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know whether my uh, infrastructure is good enough or not. So according to this, I need factories. So I suppose I could build one factory, but I feel like I've built quite a few. This one of them's still building. So yeah, let, let's forget about that. Let's go into subsidize industry. Military railroad. Right. That'll do. Let's just hope that the finances sort themselves out, because <laughs> I don't know how to fix it. Okay, so we've got funding. So I wanted... Impressment is cost of supplies reduced. This is imposing new kind of tax. Honestly don't know which is going to be more effective so let's just do impressment for now well looks like we're being attacked at roller so approximately 35,000 versus 33,034. So we've got a clear gun advantage. So I think I think I'll save this for the next episode. I feel like we've uh, spent a lot of time messing about. This uh, video's probably gone on long enough. So yeah, join me in the next one where we'll hopefully be repelling these. Cheers for watching, take care, I'll see you soon.